Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, another course play tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to unload a Forge Harvester into a BGA bunker. Let's get started. Alright, so I have a Forge Harvester right here. He is currently just sitting there ready to be, to be unloaded, basically. That's a hard worker right there. And right here, I have a trailer uh, that's going to unload him. So, what you need to do is... Uh, there's different ways you can do this. I'm going to show you the way I would do it. Uh, so, I'm going to start recording a course right here. So, let's start recording a course there. Wait for a couple points. There we go. Perfect. And then you drive over here. And all you need to do is drive through the bunker, basically. Uh, so, let's just do that. Come up here, turn around. And then drive through the bunker just like so. Now this doesn't work with every single bunker because some bunkers are a bit strange, but it should work with, let's say, 90% of the bunkers. Every now and then you get a bunker that doesn't work like this, unfortunately, but this one should work. Alright, so all we've done is record the course through the bunker, back into the field. Good. Now I have that course recorded. I'm going to go ahead and set it up to combi mode like so. And I'm going to set it to the first waypoint and I'm going to go ahead and select the combine that I have which is the John Deere 7950i right there. All right, so let's drive the course. All right, so now he should be going over to where the combine is. And if you want to, you can set which side the combine has this guy at, but it's not what we're trying to do here today. So as you can see, he's gonna come around. He's gonna make a big, wide, arcing turn. And he's going to get behind the Forge Harvester here. And as you can see, the Forge Harvester is unloading into the tipper right here. Alright. So let's assume he's full now. So he's going to drive off like so. And then he's going to go back to his first point, which is just over here. There we go. He's going to drive to the second point, and then he's going to veer off over to here, into the bunker, with a huge curb. So he's going to come around here, he's going to drive straight through the bunker. And the way it works with these bunkers is, um, if I remember right, each bunker is broken down into thirds. So basically, this time around, he will most likely do the back third back there. Second time he comes around, he usually does the first third right here. And the last, third time he comes around, he'll do the middle part. So if you're waiting a long time for this to unload, that's probably the reason why. So right now, he's reached the tip trigger, as you can see down here. He knows he's supposed to be tipping here. And that's usually the reason why uh, your course won't work, is because the person who made the map uh, just didn't set it up right. So there's the first third right there. So he'll come back and do the second third. So it just depends. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when he does the second part. So he's going to go back to his point, and he's going to go back to where the combine is right there. And one of the things you may want to set up is set the maximum speed here, and set the field speed to maximum, because what can happen is it can take a while for him to adjust and uh, maneuver sometimes. So setting it to a high field speed and setting it to the maximum speed here can be really helpful as well. Some combines don't play nice with course play for whatever reason, like the combine itself doesn't get recognized. You can actually do this with some of the uh, pull behind ones, so it doesn't work as well. It tends to work best with a self-propelled forward harvester like we have here. Okay, so we have a little bit more forge going into our tipper. I'll show you this one more time. I'm just waiting for him to get past the two points where this guy has to go, basically. And there's a second point right there. So we're going to go past this little stop sign. And it's going to drive away. So, of course, having not enough room will cause a problem. Like right now, he could go right into this right here. But I believe that sign is drive throughable. There you go. So, yeah, he's going to go back to his point, which is up here. He's going to turn back around and go into the bunker once again. So the first time around in the bunker, he did the first third, so this time he should do the last third. Should be in the keyword. I don't get to choose which section he tips into. Of course, play chooses itself. 
So, alright, it's coming back around. Like so. He's reached the tip trigger once again. Now he's going to go slowly through here again. And you can adjust how fast he goes through the BGA right here. Unload BGA. So I've set it to one mile an hour. One mile an hour. You can set it to three or four or whatever. Three is the maximum actually. Uh, and then it'll go through this. So right now he's not tipping at the moment. You see that? So last time he tipped right there. So he can tip right here. But what's going to happen is he's going to go, he should, he's probably going to go to the last third back here and then tip. So let's just, oh, so there you go. So he did the second third there. So he's going to do, in this case, he's going to do first, second, then third. It changes depending on when you start the course and whatnot. Um, but that's how that would work. All right, so let me show you how to set up the course one more time just in case you missed it because I did it pretty quickly. So ideally you start in the field like so. You record two points, one egg, two eggs. If you can't do two eggs, it's not the end of the world. One egg is like the minimum sort of thing. So again, drive up. And then all you need to do is drive through your bunker. Uh, ideally, you drive through the middle of the bunker uh, because if you go on the side, sometimes you run into problems. So there you go. You just drive through the middle of the bunker like so and then drive back it to your field just like that. I'm going to stop it right there and our combine's already set and then he's going to go ahead and drive the course. So he's probably going to go his first point and then drive behind the combine. I'm not sure. Sometimes course play does this weird thing so it's going to go actually drive the course first of all and then he's going to come back and pick up this combine. So we'll wait for him to pick up the combine first and then we'll, I'll stop this course play tutorial. So as you can see, he's turning around up there. He's going through the middle of the bunker. Sometimes you will run into problems because as you unload more material into the bunker, you'll have a harder time getting over the, the material itself, like the chaff in this case. So sometimes having a, a vehicle, a tractor that ha doesn't have a front weight or that has like a smaller, the wheels are close to the front of the tractor is helpful sometimes. I know for a fact that that tractor I'm using right there has a hard time getting over the, has a hard time getting over that particular bunker once it's get once it gets full. Right now, obviously, it's not full, so it's easy, but um, you shouldn't have a problem up until it gets full, basically. All right, so here he's coming back down. Let's just hop back into him. He's coming back down. He's going to recognize, hey. There's a combine sitting right there, and it's the selected the one I reselected manually. So he's going to drive around. He's going to position himself accordingly. And then he's going to start unloading the combine. So he stopped there because I jumped out. And there you go. So he's going to unload, get unloaded right there by the combine. There you have it. That is how you set up a tipper. I, I set up course play, I should say, to unload a self-propelled forage harvester into your BGA. All right, my name is Ian Robson. It's been Farming Simulator 2013. Coming at you from another course play tutorial. Catch you guys later.